What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over audience size. What audience size works best for what audience, local, national, um, we're gonna go over all of that and does it even does it even matter, right? So uh, we're gonna go over that. We're gonna dive into Facebook Ads Manager, but first, um, make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel if you like this content. If you don't, don't subscribe. Uh, but if you like this content, subscribe. I come out with a new video every single day uh, on Facebook and Instagram advertising for mortgage and real estate related content. So if you like that kind of thing, subscribe. It helps me out. Uh, it helps me help you. And uh, away we go here. So um, guys, audience size does not really matter. Whoa. That's kind of crazy, right? So uh, we've been told by Facebook gurus, ad experts, that Facebook audience size really matters. It helps optimize um, all that stuff, right? But at the end of the day, it does not matter at all if something is working. And if we can, if we can, as a mortgage loan officer, if you're looking for veterans and there is only twenty five thousand veterans in your area, and your audience size is twenty five thousand and you are running ads to those 25,000, and you are seeing good costs per lead to that small audience, who cares if it's only 25,000, right? Um, if you're getting a good cost per lead, if all of your KPIs and, and key performance indicators, and you're breaking even on the back end, and you're converting some of those, then it doesn't matter, right? It, it really doesn't. Um, you hear gurus and all these coaches and Facebook advertising tell you that you should have an audience size. If you're local, it should be about 100,000. Or if you're national, it should be you know, 1.2 million uh, or 2 million, right? Um, but it, it really doesn't matter. If you have an audience size that is 30,000 and you're nationwide and it's working and it's converting and you're seeing leads at your key performance indicator, what your normal cost per lead is, then it doesn't matter if, if those leads are eventually converting into paying clients, if they're buying products, whatever your service is, right? If they're if they're buying your, your digital marketing or if they're buying homes, right? It does not matter. Audience size does not matter. Um, now, I would say that you have to make sure that you look at your KPIs. You have to look at, um, you know, if you've got a small audience, you have to look at the frequency in which you're displaying your ads to those people. However, it really doesn't matter. If you've got, usually what I say is about a dollar per thousand. So if you've got an audience size of 30,000, then it's safe to say 25 to $30 uh, per day is going to be a good budget for that audience size. If you've got 100,000, uh, right around $100 per day would be a good uh, starting point. And then just look at what your numbers are, right? Uh, you need to just to make sure that you're monitoring that on a daily basis. And, and really, you shouldn't necessarily freak out if all of your numbers go out of whack one day, uh, because the next day it could, it could bounce back, right? It's when you have a two, three, four day stretch that you really need to, to monitor things and, and make sure that you, um, that you really pay attention to those. Unless your your budget is, is is more than that, right? If you're if you're doing a couple thousand per day, um, then you're going to know pretty quickly if that ad set is working or not, and if you should shut that ad set off or not. Okay, so we're going to jump into Ads Manager and just chat about what that looks like, right? For mortgage and real estate, so we're going to click Create Campaign here. I really don't care about the campaign itself, so we're just going to go with this, and I'm not even going to mess with that. So we're going to go directly into the audience size. So let's say uh, I'm in Dallas, Texas. So let's do Frisco. So we're going to do Frisco, Texas. I want to choose everybody who lives in this location. And then from here, um, what I want to do is go out and choose an audience size that is interested in a mortgage, right? So or, or buying a home. So uh, what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to choose, you know, an audience size that makes sense or an age that would that would make sense. So for me, that's probably 26, 27, 28 years old. So I'm gonna choose 27. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose English because I don't speak another language. And we have quite a few Spanish speakers here. And then from here, all I wanna do is go to exclude National Association of Realtors and Brokers. 
right? So I've excluded those audiences. Uh, and you can see here our potential reach is 1.6 million people. And so what you want to do is come in here and you either want to narrow down your, your where you're targeting, right? So for us, somebody who's living in Denton probably is not necessarily going to move all the way to Garland, right? Uh, or or even Frisco for that matter. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, narrow this down to about 15 miles. That's a better radius, right? So if if somebody's here living in Addison, they might actually go out and live in McKinney or vice versa, and that's more plausible. So we're gonna choose 15 miles. Everybody who lives in this location, and then from here, what I want to do, I want to test a few audience sizes. So or it tests a few interests. So I'm gonna choose Zillow interests, right? And then I'm going to choose Trulia, homes.com, uh, Redfin. We're going to choose, I'm oh, sorry, I messed that up. Don't want that. I want homes.com. And then realtor should go in here too. Realtor.com. So what I would do is I would go and choose all of those audiences. Basically, those are people who are searching online on those websites for homes. You can see our audience size is about 170,000 people. What I would do is I would test this ad set and see what's working, right? And then if your cost per lead is really good and you are finding that you're getting a good lead conversion, so uh, the leads that you're getting, they're converting into pre-approvals, pre-qualifications, um, appointments, and actual business, then we'll keep this ad set running, right? And then from here, what you can do is test out these individually and then see which is working. Uh, so I would choose all of these for your interests and see what happens. Uh, and then outside of that, what I would do is I would go through all mortgage stuff, right? So mortgage, I would do interested in mortgage loans, mortgage calculator, pre-qualification. Um, I know there's mortgage broker. And you get about 110. What I can do here is then go and exclude mortgage loan officers' job titles just to make sure that I'm not uh, I'm not including you know 25,000 mortgage loan officers in this ad. And then I'll run this as an ad set. You can run it from anywhere from 15 to 100 dollars per day, and see what you get there. And then what you can do is go into the general house hunting type things, right? So we can do literally house hunting interests and then do suggestions from there. New house, first time home buyer, starter home, all of these things. Real estate, um, luxury real estate, property, things like that, right? So you get the gist, the, the, the gist there. Um, and then you know you got all of those and then you can run that as an ad. And from there, you can make an assumption uh, which ad set would work best. And then what you could do is if this ad set is working well, for each ad set, what you want to do is just do one ad. So for each ad set that you do, uh, for all these three different audiences, just do one ad and see what happens with the cost per lead on those. And then choose a winner. And then what you can do is separate these eventually, right? So uh, for like Zillow and homes.com, for instance, what you can do is just pick those out. So you've got the Zillow, homes.com, Trulia, realtor.com, and Redfin. And from there, what you can do is individualize those. So you can just do Zillow interests, and you've got an audience size of 150,000, right? Um, which is probably going to be your largest. So you can run this individually as your ad set and ad see what happens versus uh, like a realtor.com as an interest, you've got 34,000. So I'd spend you know 25 to $30 on this, um, anywhere from 25 to 30 on Zillow. Let that run for three to five days. Make an assumption uh, based on your analytics, your KPIs, which is working better. And then you can exclude, like if realtor.com totally bombs, then when we had those all those five together in that ad, that ad set, then you can exclude realtor.com because it wasn't working very well, right? And then a month from now, two months from now, you can run this test again to realtor.com and see what your numbers look like. Because, you know, 
two months from now, it could it could totally change and could get a really good cost per lead and, and good KPIs and good client acquisition costs from the same same ad set, right? So you really got to test and find out. I know that's not an answer that you'd love, uh, but I really don't think that audience size matters all that much. What matters is your cost per lead, your KPIs, and your cost per acquisition. If you can acquire a client and all of your numbers look good and you're comfortable spending that amount of money acquiring that client, audience size doesn't matter. What, No matter what anybody says, the gurus, uh, the smartest Facebook ads person in the world, uh, it just does not matter if all the numbers look good, right? Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions about that, leave them in the comments below. Again, if you like real estate, mortgage, digital marketing in general, if you like that kind of content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, click the bell so that you get notified when I create a new video. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.